the previous speakers for the emojis uh, and the inspiration from uh, building a construction company uh, in engineering. So engineering is a great and great passion of mine. Uh, so in the remaining few minutes, I want to talk about um, growing the leader inside of you. All of us have uh, leadership capabilities. Um, you know, I believe that there is a leader in all of us, and it's up to us to grow that leader. And, and this is sort of my journey too. I was born in India. I was uh, born in a very small town in the southern part of India, and uh, came to the U.S. as a graduate student to go to graduate school. I studied engineering in India. I went to a very, very competitive, very male-dominated, very tough engineering school with an admission rate of 0.2%, and uh, there were probably five women in a class of 250 um, male students. Uh, but that's actually where I learned how important it is to support each other uh, as a community of uh, women and as a community of any minority um, to, in order to be successful. So the first leadership lesson uh, that I want you to leave, uh, want, uh, to leave you with is to grow the leader in you, you have to uh, not only think of yourself as a leader, but identify the leadership in others and support them, help them grow. Uh, then I came to the U.S. to, as I said, to go to graduate school. I came to this country with uh, $100 and a one-way ticket. Uh, I came on a fellowship to go to Cornell University in upstate New York. Um, when I uh, came there, I was actually pretty nervous and felt quite homesick and wanted to go back. And uh, I remember the advice my dad gave me when I went to engineering school, but in subsequently also when I went to Cornell University. Um, I said I want to come back home, and he said, uh, you've chosen your path, now it's up to you to make your journey interesting. Um, and I think this is very true for entrepreneurs. I left a very good job at Cisco, and left an amazing company to go to an electric vehicle startup. I've never built a car before, but now I'm building um, cars with lots of software that drive themselves. So um, I think it is, once you've chosen a path, it's up to you to make that journey interesting. And as you do that, uh, you grow as a leader. So in that context, I encourage people to look at opportunities. When you're looking at a new career opportunity or a new leadership opportunity or doing something different, make sure there's enough learning content. Never take a job that you already know how to do. Um, when I left Cisco, I uh, told, told John Chambers, my boss, then, I don't want to do this job again, meaning that I don't want to be CTSO in another large tech company because I've been led down that. Um, it's, it's always important to minimize the risk, of course. You don't want to go do something completely different. Um, you always have to make sure, and my formula is about 70 30. 70% of the content in the new job you should know, 30% is something that you have to learn. Um, and I think this is another way you grow as a leader, whether it's in the same company, taking on additional responsibilities, switching to a new role in that company, or going to a different company, different role, um, starting to add about this shift in career uh, from a web-based startup in the, in the 90s to getting into this sort of role. I think these are all changes that help us grow as uh, leaders. I think that's the second thing that's important. So how do you do that? How do you find that opportunity that's going to give you that ability to learn and grow yourself as a leader? Um, I literally think that when a door opens, it's up to us to go through that. Um, you know, sometimes we, especially women, I think we second guess our ability to do something new and we wait for that perfect job to show up and there's no such thing. Um, you know, I think usually when you find an opportunity, it's a little bit ambiguous. A lot of it is not defined. Sometimes you may be recruited, many times you're not. And you may see something that's interesting. It's up to you to take, it's up to all of us to take the initiative to push that door open and go see what's on the other side. If you like it, stay there in the new room. If you don't like it, you can always go back. And so, but unless you go through the door, you don't know what's on the other side. And this is how you find new opportunities, uh, again, that help you grow. Uh, the next thing I would say is uh, have the confidence, be passionate, and be determined to be successful. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur now. I've gone from my sister having 20,000 engineers worldwide reporting to me to when I started with this company, there were 10 people and five of them were recruiters. Uh, I was used to be in teams of 20, hundreds of thousands of engineers literally worldwide. Um, and I was like, wow, what did I do? Um, Right? But I was very passionate about this mission that I'm on to change transportation and make 
the world more beautiful uh, place with amazing joyful experiences through transportation. Believe in that mission. I'm determined to make this work and uh, I have fun. You know, it's a passion, perseverance, just determination that I'm being confident that you can do that will help you grow as a leader and grow the leader inside of you. Uh, the other thing I would say in uh, thinking through all this, and, and perhaps this is more applicable again to women, um, I think the confidence comes in many different ways, right? Confidence doesn't mean we have to act like men or be like men or think like men or talk like men. I think confidence mean, means to me, anyway, is being comfortable in who you are, being authentic in your leadership style, um, where people see you as a leader, know you as a leader, but get to know you as a person. Um, so I encourage women always to be a woman first, um, first and foremost, and, and not to be afraid that you cannot be successful because of that. Um, and I think at least when I was growing up in the tech industry and as an engineer, we were always taught to be somebody else. You know, techies are, techies are not fashionable, techies are not this, techies are not assertive. All these stereotypes sometimes are very intimidating. Uh, so don't listen to any of the stereotypes. Go build, go build your own model for how you grow the leader inside of you. Uh, so that's my message for today. Again, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share a few parts with you. Thank you.